Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tourist Bus Simulator. And today, uh, we have a brand new bus. That's right, we bought a brand new bus. I bought this uh, Lions, Lions Coach, Man's Lions Coach. Um, I forget what the exact model is, but uh, I bought this brand new. And I also bought a used one that's in the shop. And sad to say, this is the first time I'm taking this bus out. I had an employee that took it out. And already had a damn accident with it, so I'm not too happy about that. But yeah, we uh we have to get to the airport and then I guess bring some people to a hotel down in the southern part of the island here. So let's just start the bus up. Turn the AC on. No, I mean it's it's really in the early in the morning. You know, I'm almost curious, like, how, uh, how warm is it? Like, first thing in the morning here, I don't know. There we go. That's not working. Is that the reading lights? No, we don't want that on, but we do want that on. So let's just get up a little bit here and take a look. Oh, I like the lights. The lights are really cool. Let's let's sit back down. You just stop admiring the bus here. Put in drive. Take the parking brake off. And away we go. 4.32 a.m. I'm leaving. And I have to I would get to the airport by 5, so we have plenty of time. Okay. I already see something I need to fix. I need to fix the uh the point of view here. I don't like that. Uh, let's. Okay. I think that's good there. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Parking brake. Okay, that's better. Yeah, because I I do want to see the steering wheel and the dash and the instrumentation and all that. So I'm hoping we have to go to the airport first. That's what it says. But I do know with this game, there's times when... It'll say that, but... You gotta go all the way down to the hotel first. So I'm hoping we really have to go... Yeah, it looks like we have to go to the airport first. Not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous about using this brand new bus. And what is with this? Why is it showing me several different ways? Wait a minute. I'm gonna be late, but I need to check the map here. What in the world? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to assume that we're going to the airport. I would have to say that's probably one of the bugs in the game. Um, again, I, I haven't encountered any of the, uh, the big serious ones that other people have encountered. You know, um, yeah, I've really been enjoying the game, but uh, I do want to keep you guys up to date on that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm still playing the game, still have not had any of the save issues, haven't had any crashing, haven't had anything like that. It's unfortunate for the people that are experiencing those things because it's a really good game. You know, like, if you, uh, if you like bus sims, it's a very good game. I, uh, I really enjoy it. And, you know, hopefully they'll say... They, they'll, they'll, hopefully they'll do what they say and uh, they will get the game working for everybody. Oh, okay, it's right here. Okay, and it's a good thing we brought... The big bus. Let's 
things here. Are these things locked? Oh no. Yeah, I think they're unlocked. Okay, so let's get out. That's why people do have luggage, so let's open up the luggage doors. Oh, it's really dark, you know? Yeah, I got the map. See. We just have the one. Um, question mark. Why do people have question marks? What, what does that mean? Um, so Joshua Cooper, show service hotel. We're going to Hotel Shade. That just may also be in the arrivals hall. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say this guy, no. Sorry, dude. Where's the arrivals hall? Uh, Hotel Chate. All right. You're coming with us. Hotel Chade. So everybody that's going to Hotel Chade, I'm, I'm bringing with us. Because I'm just... I'm going to assume that that's what, you know, we have to do. See, I don't know what people are talking about. Like, I, I have luggage going in there. You know, I, I I just need to put the luggage in there. So that is a bug that's just affecting some people. Hotel close to Mare. Sorry, dude. We're not going there. What about you? Hotel, nope. I apologize for that. How about you? What's up, Candela? <laughs> no. Where are you going? Hotel Chade. All right. Get on the bus, ma'am. Hotel Chade. You're good. Get on the bus. Hotel Chade. You're good to go, ma'am. You have 7 out of 12. Hotel Chade. You're coming with us. And you're coming with us. As well as you, sir. And madam, you're also coming with us. 11 out of 12. 11 out of 12. Where? Okay. He said something about a hall. Um. <laughs> Man, there's actually people wandering around in here. Hello? Ma'am? Wait, is there gates, gates? Why is there people just running? I can't, I can't click on any of these people. There's still one more person. I don't know where they are. There's people walking around in here with question marks, but I cannot click onto them. Um. Maybe we just have to wait. Okay, this dude is coming outside to the bus. I guess I gotta wait for him to stop walking. Or or not. Hello? Hello? No no? Okay. Ah. Uh, hmm. So it's gonna say we missed a person, but that's that's okay, I guess. I don't know. Here comes another guy. Um, they said something about the passenger hall. I don't know where that is. I've never experienced this yet, so... Excuse me? I don't think so. Hmm. Well, you know what? 11 out of 12 isn't bad, so we are going to close up and we are going to get out of here because we have a long trip we have to make. So, welcome everybody. I hope you're all very comfortable. I hope the air conditioning is uh, is cold enough for you and it's to your liking. I'm going to try to make this trip as, uh, as comfy as possible. We do have coffee, we have Wi-Fi, 
we have bathrooms. So we are good to go. So the good thing is we should see some uh some nighttime to day transitions here. Say goodbye to the bus terminal. <laughs> and we have quite a long trip ahead of us. We have to get all the way down. To the more southern part of the island here. Hoping it'll it'll start getting daylight by the time we get down to there. Because, uh, yeah, there's some very tricky driving down in that part of the island. I don't think we have to go through any of those crazy serpentine roads. So we will avoid that. just been having such a good time playing these bus games um, I really can't wait for Fern Bus Simulator to come out and uh, you know I'm really excited about this game getting an update as well so as of right now from what Aerosoft says again you know kind of take it with a grain of salt I, I understand but uh, they do plan on bringing this game to Unreal Engine 5. And for Fern Bus Simulator and Tourist Bus Simulator, they do plan on integrating the other uh, looms, which is basically ray tracing. It's uh, Unreal Engine 5's version of ray tracing. They plan on switching over to the Nanite, um, stuff like that. So the future looks promising. Like I said, whether or not they go through with it you know it, it it'll be uh interesting to see but, you know i gotta say I, i'm having a really good experience with this game you know i know i said it before but i really do feel bad for the people that aren't because when the game's working, it's it's a really good game. I mean, look at this. It looks good. Look how the dashboard lights up. The starry sky. You know, everything looks so good. the bus kind of leans, you know? Gotta take these corners easy. If we have to slow down, we have to slow down. It's not a big deal. is I don't like how it doesn't tell you your destination like where you're going and when you should arrive that's that's something that I wish that they would put in this game maybe they will when they update it coming in some traffic here there must be some people headed off to work You know, one thing that uh, anytime I've ever gone on vacation, 
it's kind of funny to think about is that, you know, we're there on vacation, but people that live there, that's just where they live. They just go about their everyday, everyday business, going to work, school, whatever it is they do, you know, while we're all enjoying, enjoying all the tourist attractions and the nice weather and, and stuff like that. Shadows popping in there, huh? Okay, so one thing I've noticed is that you don't want to pull right up to the corner. Ah, god damn it. wide because we're no longer a bus now and uh this is the first time i'm driving this bus so yeah this is a brand new bus personally i like the sounds of the game i think the sounds are pretty good next uh next stop sign i need to check something out though i don't think i have the uh, the driver's light on which isn't a big deal. I kind of like driving this way. Whoa. Yeah, we took that a little too fast here. I'm, uh, I'm talking and not paying attention to the road. What I had to do is I had to pay attention to the sat-nav. Because I don't have this map memorized. I, I haven't been everywhere. So yeah, I don't have these roads memorized or anything like that. wasn't good. Ah, uh, I don't know how the hell that happened. Way too close on that side, I guess. Oh well. That must have scared the hell out of the passengers. <laughs> You know, the one thing that uh, I'm curious about, the smaller buses, why isn't there any space for luggage on those buses, you know? It seems like there should be. I picked up 12 passengers. This is kind of overkill for 12 passengers. But, if I don't have the luggage space, those passengers wouldn't have gotten on the bus. So I would have left all of them behind instead of just the one. Or just I have no idea where that person was. Maybe it was one of the ones I turned down, you know? That could be. I only turned down the passengers that weren't going to the hotel chain, so... worry about it too much and honestly I don't know really what that does I don't know what it means when you pass you behind I'm not sure it, you know do you lose money or does it just affect your your XP I'm not really sure not gonna lie the traffic in this game makes me nervous it's not the most intelligent AI. I will say from what I've seen in, in Fern Bus Simulator, it does look like the AI in that game is better. Oh, like see? Like that right there. They... 
Ah, I had the right away. But that's okay, I guess. We're gonna have good brakes. So while we're driving, guys, um, one piece of, of good news that came out recently is that SCS, the developers of American Truck Simulator and European Truck Simulator 2, they are overhauling their game engine because they use an in-house game engine. They don't use um, like Unity or Unreal. They have their own and it's like a 20 year old engine and it's not optimized for console. And in one of their live streams over the holidays, they were talking to one of their programmers and he's working on overhauling their engine and they will be putting in console compatibility that's uh very interesting and very good news if i'm uh, if i'm being honest just imagine guys imagine having ets2 and ets on console Along with Fern Bus Simulator and Tourist Bus. Oh my god. I would literally... Like... Never have the need for a PC. Because honestly... The only reason why I would buy a PC... Is for ATS, ETS2... And like the bus simulators. They're coming to console. So... Yeah. Well... The bus simulators are anyway. But yeah, if we could get the truck simulators as well, oh my god, that would be fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. But time will tell. Ooh. That did sound good. What the hell did I hit, though? That's what I'm saying about this game, man. It's, uh, it's challenging. Especially when, when you're driving these big buses. It's challenging. And at night, on these roads, it's even worse, man. It's even worse. It's 5.52 a.m. You know, I thought <laughs> it'd start getting daylight by now. So that's, uh, that's two accidents on this trip. So I guess I can't be too bad at the employee for, for crashing the bus because I'm, uh, I'm not doing very well either. <laughs> Ah, these roundabouts, I hate them. This is a long trip. lane. Jesus. Even the highways in this game are just tight, man. Come on, 
reroute me. See, that's the thing, like, if you just get close. If you get close to the exit, it reroutes you. It shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be like that. Hard to see when it's dark and that dust is flying across the road. You know, I really didn't think this was going to be a nighttime trip. I thought we would see some daylight. But I guess not. Let's get back in this lane. Yeah, I guess not. some rights here so we can see a little better. It's after 6 a.m. and it's still not daylight in June? Wow, when does this place see, uh, see daylight in these months? You know, I'm, I'm positive here it'd be daylight by now. taken. Okay, we can go straight. I'm going to try to avoid getting it close to that exit at all costs so that sat nav doesn't change on me. Good lord, where the hell are we going? I don't know. the one lane if well that car just came over in our lane so no we're going on a, a roundabout lovely uh what's going on come on why did that truck stop I wish they broke it down a little better so you knew what lane you had to be in. This is a bus lane though, so I guess we'll stay in this lane for now. We have to go around another roundabout. I can kind of see the stop just in the sat nav. And we're going for it. Traffic can just kiss my butt. Good lord, the roundabouts over here are just ridiculous. Look at this. Yet another one. You know, what's nice is because he was in that lane, so if it's safe for him to go, it's safe for us to go. You better stop, dude. God, I thought we were getting close. Stop. Yeah, we are. I cannot believe it's not getting daylight yet. I mean, it's still very much dark, you know? Oh, boy. It wouldn't be so bad in real life because in real life the traffic would work with you. All right, but here is our stop. So, I mean, I got us there one piece. We had a couple accidents, but eleven zero one valid passenger missed. All stops for approach. Passengers have been left at a stop. Yeah, I, I know. I can't crash as one. 
So, yeah, that's another thing. Like, I cannot get anything higher than, you know, a 70% service rating. Oh, are you confused? Okay, she got her... She got her luggage. Was that it? Is that the only one we have luggage? I think it was... Uh, what about that guy? That guy's got... A lady. Where'd you get your luggage, ma'am? Uh, I don't know. No, she's coming for it now. Wow! Just take your time. Okay. She is the last one. So... That is that, guys. That's, uh... Our little excursion today. I like the bus. I think the bus looks good. We're gonna do our other... Our other bus in the same, uh... The same style here, but... Wow, why is it so dark? And it's 6 o'clock in the morning. That I don't understand. I really don't. But, guys. That's where we're gonna end this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did... Hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and we will see you in the next one.